good morning all of you so today's class uh, we're going to discuss about the the torque equal to i alpha applications right so what are this one like when a rigid body is suspended and suddenly one of the string is cut then how the motion of that object will occur then again if a rigid body <laughs> kept in certain position and i'm going to release it and how that motion is going to take place so previously previous class will happen uh, it, it, we, we were knowing that how that torque was acting and about which point the body was rotating means like a, it was like a fixed axis rotation what about here the axis of rotation we don't know we are supposed to predict here the numerical which i'm going to pick up about which axis the body will rotate we don't know that has to be identified so what are the type of numericals you'll get it fixed axis rotation like we have seen a rod injured at one end then i'll release it that was a fixed axis rotation next again after that now, now we have seen some is <laughs> of rod some other rigid body also can be released semi circular plate we have seen that was a fixed axis rotation so now uh, the axis of rotation itself we are not very sure how to identify it is what the these are the type of numericals here so i'll begin with one which is shown in okay read the question so there is a uh, rod of mass m and length l there is a rod of mass m and length l it is injured about uh, so it is suspended by two strings then so initially what is the tension it's in equilibrium the tension let it be t not and the weight mg will act so therefore for equilibrium of the rod 2t not minus mg equal to 0 so what is the initial tension mg by 2 so this is the tension in the initial string so i'm going to cut the left string so what happened the left string so after cutting uh, it will become loose no so I'll, i'll just show like this here the string is cut then what about the rod what will be the tension the left string so will it remain same t not or any other value so what are the force of that thing so let's assume that i don't know tension let me assume t and the air weight mg will act and what are the points let me take a b and c is the center of mass of the rod okay what are the options now will it rotate about a or c Uh, just a uh, so few, few few things like when you cut the right string when you cut like this when you cut the right string what will happen to the left string will it be taut or loose i think <coughs> it must be taut no this string will be taut so how do you can say and i think there's a natural one one must have basic idea that's why i told you no now today what happen you can take some a uh, pen or pencil or some any stick in in your room what all that one just hold uh, you can't go for ceiling just hold at these two points hold with two finger hold with two hands suddenly you release one of the end this thing you release it then definite point this thing will be taut you can feel this what naturally happens sir this will be taut so therefore i'm assuming tension uh, now i'm asking to calculate this tension the next question comes what is the state of rod uh, just after I, i think this word is very important here just after right string is cut just after and will it rotate about a or c i think it's suspended about a no will it rotate about a or c no it will rotate about c the angular acceleration in fact will be like this and the center of mass will accelerate i'll, I'll write alpha c then if this is a thing like this then Uh, if c is the acceleration of ac the acceleration and then all points should also have acceleration of center of mass s then then what about acceleration of this point acceleration of this point will be ac plus l by 2 alpha because this length is l by 2 this is l by 2 so let's write the equations of motion mg minus t equal to mac and then t into l by 2 is equal to ic alpha c the torque is set up by the tension 
so the tension what happen it will set up a torque about point c so this is r bar this is f r cross f so the torque will be like this about point c then if i solve one l get cancelled so t is equal to ml alpha c by 6 how many unknowns are there ac alpha c and tension there is equation 1 there is equation 2 i need one more equation so i will take help of the string what is the state of string string is taut and it is connected to a point here so let, let me take a point p on the ceiling so what is the acceleration of point p it's a ceiling no and what is the state of it this that ceiling will not move so acceleration of point p along y axis should be zero acceleration of point a along y axis must be zero so i'll i'll put one more acceleration here so what is that l by 2 alpha c why l by 2 alpha c because of tangential acceleration so what is here try to see this so what is this l by 2 alpha c tangential acceleration what is ac that is due to acceleration of center of mass so th this what happens here now this is a tangential acceleration this this due to rotative motion this due to transitive motion then what should be the acceleration of point a along y axis the constant equation what it says the acceleration of along y axis must be equal to acceleration of point p what is the acceleration of point p should be zero what is the acceleration of point a along y axis ac minus l by 2 alpha c so this is the equation 3 solving this will get the required answer so l alpha c what you can write 2ac put 3 into m by 6 this should be equal to 2ac or m ac by 3 call equation for put 4 in 1 M is equal to three t. M G minus t is equal to three t, or t equal to M G by four. So this will be the tension in this thing. Just after cutting, uh, sir, what, what's wrong if I assume it will rotate about point e? Because it is suspended about by string. because i'll just know or what you said if a body is uh, fixed axis rotation is it not fixed axis rotation no uh, the question is just after after some time it will it will rotate about it because it is suspended about the string i think are you able to understand just after I means like okay, we, we are not exactly understanding the, the situation M means so let me put it here So yeah, th th these are more general things, sir. Huh? Rather than fighting with mathematics, you you must have a very general idea. So th this is a rod. Just after <coughs> it will rotate like this. After some time, what about after some time? After some time, it will do rotate. because it is suspended about the string no so the, 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 the string it will rotate about center of mass after some time it will rotate about this one call alpha a this is alpha c i think so what you have to notice in the problem is it is asking after some time or just after string is cut i think that's what the difference you have to make it here no what, what do you mean by rod describes only rotative motion say like here please understand here the moment you cut string the rod don't know that it is left string is there or not it will try to move vertically down because of it the string will become taut so there is some acceleration of center of mass please do understand you, you must bring your physics into the picture laws of motion chapter 
what is the state of the rod? Rod is at inertia of rest. No, the moment you cut the string, due to weight, what will happen? It will try to because earlier two T naught equal to mg. When you cut the right string, so definitely what happen? Mg the weight, the net force will be downward. So the rod don't know that whether left string is cut or not. It will try to move down. The center of mass will try to move vertically down. So mg minus t equal to mc. Then what will happen? The string will become taut. The tension from T naught will change suddenly will become T. And it set up a torque. It will rotate about C. This is what happens everything at that moment. Not only pure rotation, you can see translative motion. So what is this equation? Translative motion. So what is this rotative motion? Afterwards, pure rotation motion. So I'll, 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 I'm going to conclude here. Both rod describes God describes both translatory and rotative motion. Here, God describes only rotative motion. Uh, are you able to understand this? This, this is what practically happens. Sir. So how do I come to know? That is what you should have the idea of physical world rather than fighting with mathematics. That's what I was insisting. Okay. Anybody having doubt, you can just clarify it. Huh? This is the first problem, no? Because the same idea I'm going to Uh, you got the same answer after taking the torque about point L. I agree, but the string what happen is inextensible, no? Then if you you do one thing, <coughs> let the rod rotate about point A and solve the problem, you'll get the same answer. Uh, there is no problem with answer. But what is the problem is the string is will become inextensible. That is not possible, no? Therefore, uh, the, uh, You'll get answer correct, but conceptually wrong. So what went wrong? The string you made extensible, but it's inextensible. If you want to try it, uh, let the rod rotate about point A and you do the problem, you'll get the answer. Okay, you'll get a rank, everything fine, but you killed the basic physics. <laughs> Equation two, uh, this one, tension. The tension, this is T, this is L by two. So torque T into L by two is equal to ML square by 2L into alpha C. Okay, torque, torque one, this is R bar, this is F bar. 